Hello friends, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome again to another Data Access Objects video tutorial. In today's episode, we finish building our DAO implementation by coding the delete method. Let's go to Eclipse and our employee DAO implementation class, and we'll delete these two lines in our delete method. And we're going to start with what by now should be fairly familiar. We're going to get a connection. Connection, connection equals database dot get connection. Next, we'll set up some SQL code for the delete method. String SQL equals delete from employees where ID equals question mark. Next, we create a prepared statement. Connection dot prepare statement. Passing along our SQL code. We then use a set method to replace the placeholder question mark with a value that's in the employee object that's passed to this method. PS dot set int one employee dot get ID. Then we execute the prepared statement PS dot execute update that returns an integer int result equals PS dot execute update. We'll then close the prepared statement. and also close the connection. And finally, we return the result. That's the coding of our delete method completed. All that remains now is to test it. If you recall, we have three records in our employees table. First one has an ID of eight, next has an ID of 10, and the third and final has an ID of 11. So what we're going to do is delete the record in the middle here with the ID of 10. So let's go back to Eclipse, go to our main method, delete what we currently have in there, except for the employee DAO because we're going to need to start with that. So employee DAO equals new employee DAO implementation. Next we'll get an employee record from the database. Employee employee equals employee DAO dot get. We're ready to get the number 10 record. And now that we have that number 10 record, I'm just going to sys out to the console the values in the employee record. Let's test at this point to make sure we do get the employee record with the ID of 10. So we'll right click on our project name, run as Java application, and we get the ID 10 name Rick Blaine. So that works so far. Next, we're going to delete that employee record. We'll say int result equals employee DAO dot delete, passing the employee and that should take care of it. So let's right click, run as, and we'll sys out the result to the console. And the result should be the number one as one record was deleted from the table. So let's right click on our project, run as Java application. First we get the record, then we delete the record and we show the number one as we expected. Let's now go back to dBeaver and we'll refresh the employees table and we'll see that the number 10 record is no longer present. So the delete worked as expected. 
If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. I appreciate it as always, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.